In the recent few weeks, Google and Gmail have started to roll out a new contact manager or new address book. In Gmail, you find your address book by clicking the word Gmail right above your Compose button. Then click Contacts. This is the new contacts manager or address book from Gmail. And although it's different, it is, I think, an improvement over the contact manager of old. First off, you can scroll through all of your contacts on one screen instead of have to page through multiple screens if, if you have many many contacts. Second off you can either star or add to favorites people that you contact the most often which is very handy. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And Google also made a feature that was buried before more visible right over here on the left called find duplicates. So if you click find duplicates it will quickly search through your whole address book and give you opportunity to merge anybody that is a true duplicate. Merging duplicates allows you to quickly and easily manage your address book when it becomes too cluttered with the same contacts. So take advantage of this find duplicates. The other thing they did with the new contacts is kind of like they did with Gmail. They've made the search much easier to access and more prominent anyway at the very top of your Google contacts screen. So for example, if I search for a city, anyone who has that city in their contact quickly comes up. If I'm looking for a person's name, of course, and I can get quickly to that person's contact. When a contact comes up, you immediately have access to their pertinent contact information, including the ability to click on their address to quickly see a map of where they live. You can call a phone number directly from your Gmail if you like doing that kind of thing. You can edit the person by clicking the little pencil in the right hand corner. The pencil allows you to add more information to your contact. And take advantage of the contact manager by adding every little piece of information that you would like about a person so that you can have all their information in one spot. And as I talked about earlier, if I want to add a person to my starred contacts, I can click this star here at the top and that will move them to the top of the list. I can unclick the star to move them out of that list. And then the back arrow here in the left hand side takes me back to the results if I was searching or if I want to go back to all contacts, click it here. If you're creating a new contact or adding someone new to your address book, you click the giant blue button in the lower right hand corner that has a plus sign. The plus sign has now become a standard for adding something new to almost any program or application on mobile devices. So I'm going to add a person's name here and it's going to search for folks that might be somewhere on the internet if you're a Google Plus member and if it finds them you can see whether that was the person you were looking for. I'm making someone up so I'm just going to click create as a new person. Then as you can see as we were in the edit area I can start adding all of the information I want. So if I have their email address here, I can add as many email addresses as I'd like. And that way I can track all their information. Same thing with phone numbers, I can add as many as I'd like. You can change the label of what you have entered in by clicking off to the left side and choose home, work, other. Under other, you can put in whatever you want by backspacing out the word other. And I could put in here club email. And then with any contact manager or address book, I always recommend taking advantage of the notes section so you can add any information in there that would be helpful for you in the future. When you're finished adding the information, just click save. If you want to delete someone from your address book, when you're viewing their address card, you can click the three little dots at the top of the contact and then choose delete. If you want to select multiple people and delete them, you can just simply click where the little photo is and you see that everything becomes a checkbox. Then there's a trash can in the upper right hand corner where you can delete a group of people at one time. So there's a quick introduction to the new Google contacts or address book. Spend a little time with it and I think you will find it a big improvement over the older address book.